Meanwhile, state playoffs began in New Mexico today. First up, it's Las Cruces, seated at seventh, hosting a tenth seated Clovis. And it was the Wildcats in control early on, up 15 to 7. But the dogs, specifically Lila Ashida, finding form, dribbling from beyond the arc for that pull up jumper. Then it's Ashida again, this time from the top of the arc. That three good as well. But just as the dogs were getting close, Wildcats answer with the three of their own. But Ashida getting shots off from every point on the court as she's going to sink this one from the corner for three. Final score in this one, 51 to 33. The Las Cruces Bulldogs moving on to the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, for the fourth time this season, Oregon Mountain and Centennial battled it out. Only difference is this time it was for a spot in the quarterfinals. Caitlin Turnbow, as you're going to see in just the second, dancing in the paint. Not once, but twice, right before the half to give the Knights a 22 to 21 lead at the half. But the Hawks came out flying in the third. Aspen Salazar with the three. She'd have 24 on the night. This time it's Salazar from the toss to A-line Eris for three. Hawks looked in control, but late the Knights get within one and they have a chance to go ahead with 38 seconds to go. But Aspen Salazar just wanted it more. She rips the ball away and the Hawks would hold on to win it by one point. 40 to 39, the final. The both last Words can't explain how proud I am of these girls. Four times, you know, they always say it's hard to beat a good team three times, but four, we were gritty, we hung on. This is our accomplishment, and we actually wanted to do this from the beginning, and now we need to keep doing it and keep doing it. Now we're going to the pit, and now it's time to keep winning. So both Las Cruces and Centennial advanced to the corner finals at the pit as Mayfield and Oregon Mountain, unfortunately, both fell tonight.